one running all three single infernos again. Are these... Is this tournament banned witches? Why aren't we seeing witch attacks here? I feel like witches would just steamroll all these single inferno bases. That's what I would do. Count all 12 at the highest level. So competitive play here in Clash of Clans. We've got godly apes going on against Noob Scarlet, which is honestly one of the best Town Hall 12 teams in the world. Crazy, crazy, crazy team here. And this is the semi-finals match. So all the lower teams, all the teams that maybe weren't up to the cut here to make it here, were already trimmed out. And only the best of the best have arrived here at this point. And I'm sure we're going to see some crazy attack strategies out of this today. Opening up with a Zap Super Witch attack here. Using the zap to go ahead of the warden to go after that inferno and then charging his way against a lot of single infernos here. And it is a all single inferno ring base with a town hall in the middle. And they are allowed to use a wall wrecker, so they come in at literally any angle here. But he's coming in from the top side, going after the single inferno first. The ice golem freezes the single inferno, takes the eagle artillery strikes there. One super witch working on the outside of the base here while he continues to push towards the middle. Gonna get that single down with the balloon surging out ahead there. The queen deploys late and arrives with the group. And he's got a jump to carry him back in. But he's wanna, he wants everything to kind of veer, veer north here. And then wrap around. Oh, I like this pathing. I like this pathing. Don't go into the town hall. Everybody can reach it over the wall there because witches have longer range than a lot of other troops there. So they can reach the town hall over the wall just like the queen can. So they'll be able to pick that up there. But right now they're not getting the pathing towards it. The queen steps over to it now. Up that warden now to protect everybody from the town hall beams there and that single inferno. Power through that single inferno. This is looking really, really nice here. This is a definitely a different way to do a super witch attack. I would be very nervous to do super witches into all single infernos, but it didn't seem to deter him at all. And he's looking really, really good here as he continues to push his way through. The healers are intact. They're right in a perfect position here. The witches and the queen turn around and kill some air skillies, but no threats on the healers. And the damage is being thinned out heavily. Now, it is an all Town Hall 12 war, so they don't have access to a to a log launcher or a siege barracks or a flame flinger. They have to go in with the original three Siege machines that Town Hall 12s can make, and so we used a Stone Slammer with Yetis to pop out. The Yetis clear out a couple defenses, and then will drop into a key tanking position here on the back end to give him even more force to the last couple buildings. This is absolutely crushed here. Saitama goes down to the first and opening attack here from Godly Apes. Brilliant stuff here. I expect more of it as we continue through. All right, guys. I have always considered Hitesh as one of the best Town Hall 12 attackers in Clash of Clans. And he's usually coming in with something crazy. But this dwarf, kind of keeping it tame. He's got a zap, dragon attack, and he's just going after an air defense. And that's it. Just an air defense. What? <laughs> okay. Interesting choice. He'll have his heroes start in the bottom there. They've run into a big Tessa farm. Ice Gold will give him a little bit of cover there, but he wants to quickly get into that air defense before he loses any dragons. He can use the Stone Summer somewhere else on the base, maybe going after a backside air defense or something. But his heroes will make their approach towards the town hall. The king getting a lot of distraction from his barbarians there as he gets locked up to buy the single for the queen. Where's this queen going? Queen, you better go back. You better loop back around. Can she reach that expo from inside? She's not gonna go. <gasps> oh no. He puts in a rocket balloon over on the left side to go after that single inferno. Is it enough? It does, it takes it down. Queen will break the wall. She'll pop her ability, she'll get the expo down. But he has to get the town hall down and he may need to have the siege machine go after it. He puts in the stone slammer directly after it, after it's activated on percentage. Dragons will step into the defensive queen here. Needs to save this other freeze here just in case here for the town hall. <laughs> Whoa! That was a sneeze. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> All right, gets the town hall down, secures the two star, but that was uh, an odd choice here from Hitesh. He's still got a couple rocket balloons. If he can get the queen down, he still might be able to pull this off. 
He's gonna let that dragon die. He wants it to go to the other group, but he's running out of time now. He'll put the rock boots out of the archer tower and he'll continue to lose dragons here to this defensive queen. The defensive queen on the backside is very, very, very difficult to face and even more so when he gets the sweeper knocking him back on top of that. So it is gonna be a defense, which means Godly Apes is gonna open up this war in the lead and I expected Godly Apes was going to be the team trailing in this war, so definitely not how I anticipated this to start off. But it does make things interesting. We'll see how it goes. Master Agent. Coming with a Queen Charge into Mass Hogs. Start off here with a Yeti Blimp here to go in after the Single Inferno. We're seeing a lot of Single Infernos here. What's up with all the Single Infernos? You land Yetis in there. Get that single inferno down. We'll catch the expo as well. If you're landing into a high damage area like that, it is best if you just rage it up there because you're going to pick up a lot of defenses. And usually we get, we always rage it if we have an uh, enemy hero that we're landing on top of. But he goes to an early ability here to the CC. That might cost him in the long run here. He's got one more freeze and one more rage for his queen since he used one rage onto. The Yeti Blimp, he only gets two for the Queen Charge. He will lock onto the Super Minions. He'll take them down. He'll start to wrap around. A little Super Wall break in and put the King in down the line. Does he follow the King to go after the Town Hall here? There is that single Inferno there, so... It'd be a dangerous move to try to rely on the King to take the Town Hall. But if he doesn't get the Town Hall down with the Queen and the King, the Hogs are really going to struggle to do anything after that. Gonna head in and get through this defensive King. Doing anything on the funnel on the outside. I'd like to see those sneaky goblins come down to those collectors out there so the king doesn't leak. Ooh, queen goes. Um. Get this king back into the town hall. You got the sneakies. Use them. Oh my god. What are you doing here? King doesn't have his ability anymore. Get the defensive queen down. Well, they opened with the triple, but now he has to get the percentage high enough to get the Town Hall activated. He's in a lot of trouble right here, guys. He cannot activate the Town Hall with Hogs. Sometimes you get it activated with Bloons, but Hogs are really going to struggle. He's collecting the percentage now. He sends in a couple Sneaky Goblins. They do activate the Town Hall now. Here comes the rest of them. They have the Warden. They will take the Town Hall down. And then he can surge his way across to the Multi Inferno. More Hogs in from the bottom of the base there to meet up with the Big Pack there. The Big Pack will provide most of the tanking as he goes through this area of the base. The single fur not going to do a lot. It'll slowly burn up one hog at a time, but he'll be able to just power through that area without too much trouble here. But he put the heels side by side to try to keep things moving. Yeah, I definitely need a lot more out of that queen charge. And that was a questionable queen charge uh, path there that he decided to go with. I'm really surprised. I don't know exactly what the plan was there. But it does open up an opportunity if Noob Scarlet triples, then it equalizes the war. 70% on this one, guys. That was weird. The Monk is live with a Queen Charge Lalo for this one here. And now, if he can take advantage of that miss, then they can take the lead. They'll go right into the air defense here. Reach the Queen and the Expo over the wall and continue walking south towards the multi inferno. He's got a Super Wall Breaker and a jump so he can give the Queen access to the Town Hall after he goes into the multi inferno. Let's the wall break now. Ooh. A little bit of lag. A little bit of lag. Just for us, not for him though. Okay, this is making sure he doesn't disconnect. <laughs> Sometimes you see that lag, it might be an indication that he disconnected, but he starts to drop in more troops after that, so he's safe, he's safe. He'll continue to drive the Queen into the Multi-Inferno, take it down there before it can cause too much damage to his healers. The King will pop his ability on the outside. The Balloon soaks up multiple traps there to keep the Queen's heal is safe, and she'll make her approach towards the Town Hall. They'll have two Multi-Infernos on the other side of the base, and he still needs to get the CC down as well. 
They'll put the Stone Slammer in early. The Stone Slammer go to the Bomb Tower and then circle north towards the Eagle Artillery. It takes a Black Mine, unfortunately, and it pulls the CC. The Headhunters go south to the Queen. The Super Minions stay on the Stone Slammer and will open it up there, but he freezes the Super Minions into the Poison, freeze them one more time, also catching the Multi Inferno, doubling up on the value of his freezes right there. Like to see that. There's the haste to carry him into that multi. Red bombs go up, but the word ability protects, and he'll get that sweeper and then that multi inferno down. The trainer catches the rest of the blues here, but they're coming in from every single direction, and they're gonna completely overwhelm this last multi inferno. It's a triple, and Noob Scarlet takes the lead here after that opening miss. Swags this last invisibility. And will easily close this one out. A beautiful Queen Charge Lalo. Making that one look easy. That was smooth. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Nice attack there, Mark. Like he lags a little bit more there to close it out, but. Yeah, he's got a minute. He's got a full minute to clean it up. <laughs> That's crushed. That's a lot of balloons remaining. That is a lot of balloons still up there. And he had a dragon inside of his uh, Stone Slimer as well. Go straight to clean up there or deal with some uh, straggling CC troops there. Always a nice touch. Nemesis live from Godly Apes. This one running all three single infernos again. Are these. Is this tournament banned witches? Why aren't we seeing witch attacks here? I feel like witches would just steamroll all these single inferno bases. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. When I see witches, I'm gonna do bat slap. Or I'm gonna do Zap Witches. But Lalo is also a good option here. <laughs> you can't really go wrong with a Lalo. Going to do an early Queen ability though. Ooh, that caused the problems in the last one. We went back and looked back at that uh, last miss there from Godly Apes, and it was ultimately. They had a pretty good chance there had he not gone to a uh, forced Queen ability off of the CC. And this one happens again. He gets pulled into the single Inferno. He has to freeze it. A lot of buildings to go through here before he gets spawned to that single fern. He has an invisibility. He's got another freeze. He can power through that. Don't freeze it again. Queen will get it before she needs to burn another freeze there. Locks onto it now. And she will take it down before it can go full beam again. All right. He's safe. With a wall break down the line there, lets the king into the base. The king still has his ability. He's getting the CC pulled now onto the queen. Perfect setup on that. We're going to fight that without any issue, but may need to go invisible to power through these. Oh. <laughs> well, I need to go find my charger, apparently. But he's able to fight the CC off here. Got the headhunters down. Gets the super minions down. The queen survives and will continue on. The expo finally peels off of her. She's got two on her right now. She's out of ways to protect herself. He has no freezes for the town hall, just the warden ability. He'll pop the warden ability early as he tries to power through all the Teslas to get to it, but it's gonna wear off here before he actually takes the town hall down, and he's going to take this blast. Another haste comes down to try to make sure he gets that town hall, and the queen drops, and he will take the town hall. Okay, he's got it. <laughs> all right. It is another defense, though. Queen ability cost him again. As that queen, if she had her ability, would have been able to take out a lot of these backside defenses that were picking off the last of his stuff. And she would have been able to survive and beat through the walls and take this out. So once again, a messed up initial charge with the queen ability going off early. Cost them a second triple here. A lot of war left to play here. It is a best of two, by the way. So they not only need to win this war, but they need to win another war afterwards. And right now, it's looking pretty good here for Noob Scarlet, if they can take advantage of that and triple right now. Saitama is live with a Super Witch Zap attack. He'll take out this Multi-Inferno while the Warden Walk takes out all the perimeter defenses around it, and he can begin his push towards the Town Hall. However, there are a lot of different ways that the troops can path around the Town Hall here. And it could cause a split, and it could cause some chaos in that area. We'll see how things unfold here, but he'll put in one Super Witch in the very bottom corner here. But the King on the outside... 
and have him just try to keep everybody else focused fire to the middle. I like that he waited for the Wardenwalk to take out that air defense there before he went in. That makes so that the witches will stay together as a tighter pack and all go in through the left side entry here. Well, most of them. A little bit of a split. Okay, okay. He'll rage up as he approaches the town hall, though. Blue's searching for it, trying to get the CC, or getting the uh, the Black Mines out of the way here, I mean. He'll take the town hall down. Does not need to ward ability through the town hall blast with Super Witches. A lot of other troops there would need to have the ward ability to protect them through that, but the the Super Witches tend to be able to just take that blast there and just heal right through it, so it's not a big heal. He's got the King getting targeted by the single Inferno on the far left side there. He had a wall break to get him in, but he did not take out that single Inferno. Put in a balloon and a giant and a wizard over in the left uh, corner to reinforce right there. But they're not going to go too far there. He's just got to get the path he set up for a stone slammer to get direct access to that single inferno. He puts in the stone slammer on the opposite side, but he skips the cannon. Okay, he's going to go to the cannon now. All right. That works. Good judgment there. I thought he needed to start the cannon, but I guess either way would have worked. Wizard down behind the Soul Slammer to start to clean up. Super just continue to march through the middle base here, but the single Inferno is going to burn up some witches on that left side. He's going to lose one right now. Big boy circling out there. Eagle Artillery Strike really sealing the deal on that single Inferno. Got a minute to close this out. The Stone Slammer open up the base a little bit here so we can get the Super Witches out of the base and start to wrap around. But the Slammer opens up a blue... Blue's and a baby dragon pop out of there. He'll pop the haste and try to get them through this air defense... And maybe they can get into the Seagull Artillery. If they get the Seagull Artillery in a good spot, potentially. But time is becoming increasingly an issue here as he wraps around to the outside of the space and he's only got 30 seconds to get back into this single Inferno. But the Balloons are doing some work here. If they survive the single and then take out one of these storages, that would be ideal. But they're getting burned up and they don't make it through. 17 seconds to go. Got a Queen ability still attacked here. Minions coming to the backside. Archers in the backside. Everybody trying to collapse in the last couple of buildings. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Got it! New Scarlet with another triple on the board. Say, Tama gets it done. <laughs> Woo! Only a couple seconds to spare. But they will maintain their lead. Bait. Queen charge, Lalo. <laughs> okay. Bait, queen charge, Lalo. Coming in with a queen charge, Lalo. So hopefully the face from Jaunty is not baited for a queen charge, Lalo. But I guess we'll find out. Using a little bit of lightning to start this one off. What did he get out of that? He put some damage onto the defensive queen. And did he... Got an expo? I didn't see what he got with the lightning, but one way or another, he'll charge his way through the defensive king and into the queen. He'll end up breaking north on the base here. A couple single infernos. There's a lot of single infernos in these. That's kind of crazy that we're seeing so many single infernos and zero witches. I'm really starting to think that witches are banned in this. Otherwise, we would be seeing them in mass numbers here because whenever I see single infernos, I use witches and they just shred these bases. They come almost just ignore these single infernos and they just target overload them. But in this case, he'll be charging directly towards the town hall. Probably not that CC without any issue. Super minions will die to the poison. Very dangerous CC right there for these queen charges. And we saw in their previous two attacks where the forced queen ability early into the attack there was what caused the difference. And this one also. Without a queen ability, is to make his approach towards the town hall. But at least he doesn't have any single infernos locking onto him while he takes that town hall down. He'll put in the stone slammer over on the far left side. Start to collapse in the lalo through the eagle artillery. The queen takes the town hall without any issue. And she'll wrap around that compartment. And then eventually we'll work her way back in. And hopefully she has the support of the lalo to keep her protected against these single infernos. So he's got a multi with a whole bunch of... Tesla's in the core of the base here and potentially a lot of red air bombs. He needs to be very, very careful. Have the warden ability on standby and as soon as he starts to see red air bombs pop and it's going to need to come in soon. The warden was getting knocked back by the sweeper. Now would be a good time. There we go. That inferno down. Protect the queen. 
Balloons on the outside are going after the air defense out there, but may not be able to get it down. There's more radar bombs going off there. Get the Inferno down. He's got enough of these balloons here to finish working through, but radar bombs continue to be firing off here. The Warden working with the Blues. They got to get the single down. The Warden's on his own. Traps. <laughs> wow. I guess it was baited for a Queen Charge Lalo. <laughs> it's a miss! Godly Apes! All short once again. Jaunty! Live with a zap dragon attack. Triples this. Really, really, really strong spot here. Go ahead and zap out the multi. And the air defense up top. With that storage in between them, it's not gonna clear a funnel completely. If he's trying to use the lightning as a funneling point there. He to finish breaking the ring up here. And he can do that with the heroes. The heroes can walk the outer ring up there. And the dragons could then get forced to split off to the right. But he puts the heroes at the bottom of the base, or at least the king. They can wait for the CC range there in case it's a lava hound, but it is not a lava hound, it's super minions. Just one super minion, or was there more out of there? I'm not sure. But the queen will pick off the air defense. The slammer will immediately join with the king and the queen to go in after this multi inferno. The slammer strike in the multi will open up the base here and allow the king to continue on on the inside of the base and get the strike off. It does not. <laughs> no, it did. It did. They got the wall open so the king can continue on. Not sure what he's going to do with that access, but there. Bane will need to get to this air defense at the far back end of the base here. A couple rocket balloons come down to help support with that. While the Stone Slammer was providing some tanking, the Stone Slammer opens up, drops out a dragon and more balloons. Looking pretty strong on this one. Lots of dragons still alive. Just the Tesla's on the back side. And look where he had the lightning come in at the top there. That could have taken out all the Teslas had they been out. So they fill in the gap. Bunch of red air bombs are going off in the area. And the balloons are falling fast. I wonder if he has enough force with the dragons. He's still got the queen. The queen has her ability. The king is coming back. The king, he did do something with that access. What, an, what an animal. He's going to step in. He's going to tank everything on the backside. And between him and the queen ability, he's got the triple. Jaunty gets it done. And new Scarlet is up by two stars. They were the favorite going to the match here. And they are proving it. All right, one attack to go. And then maybe God the Apes can come back in war number two? I don't know. Hunter is live. The Zap Super Witches. Another anti-two-star base. Town Hall in the middle with all single Infernos. And I'm really, really convinced now that they are not allowed to bring regular Witches. And that's why they, ba they built bases specifically with all these single infernos because when you see single infernos witches are a surefire way to get a triple and when you see multis and generally we see a lot of these other strategies that they've been using but in this case they're breaking out the super witches three single infernos on the back end and i want you to pay attention to how he does the jump here if he just goes into this compartment now you don't want to open up access into the town hall itself. You want to control the pathing. So if the jump cuts off like right there and just gives access to go north and wrap into this channel, then it can get access to strike the town hall, but it can do it in a way that he's not going to mess up the pathing and go into the town hall compartment. Okay. He decided to not go into the single inferno compartment and he did go into the town hall compartment. He can reach the single inferno over the wall, but still kind of sticking what I would have what I was kind of envisioning there, where he doesn't give himself too much access. Where is this queen? I was getting carried away drawing there, and I lost track of his queen. Is she still alive somewhere? I don't think she is. 
Well, he's got a headhunter coming in to go after the defensive heroes here as he approaches the backside. He'll go and freeze up the single inferno, locks onto the queen, taking down that king here in just a moment as well. He's got the big boys out in front providing the tanking. More witches on the outside get access granted by the by the Stone Slammer collapsed on the outside. He got that single inferno down. He's got one more single inferno on the back side. Just needs to protect the super witch there. But that super witch is going to die to the expos anyways. He's going to have to continue to power around the base here. And then punch into that single inferno. That witch is now getting targeted heavy by both of the expos and the single inferno. It does go down. One big boy still standing in the middle. Will tank for the Lalo as it makes his approach. Or the balloons, I mean, that came out of the Stone Slammer at least. He gets the expo down. Ooh, that's big. We're going to see a chance of this. Come on. Yes, it's triple. They still remain in this series. But this one looking like it's going to happen for him here. He's... Where's that witch going? Oh, the witches are going to the inside here. The big boys are going to the outside. Time is the biggest issue here. Baby Dragon almost gets that single for now. The big boys are stepping through. Witches are going to the inner ring here. They can reach over the wall and hit it. He's fighting the clock. Come on, move it. Oh, I see a time bill. Nope. Denied. Nemesis Nova. Super Bowlers. Same way to close it out. He'll be coming in with a Warden Walk to start it off here and three Rages to get some raged up Super Bowler bounces through the core of this base. Is he coming in opposite of the Town Hall here? A uh, stone slammer. I've also noticed that nobody has used a wall wrecker. Literally nobody used a wall wrecker this entire war. It was all stone slammer. Every single attack. And blimps. Some of them were blimps. But he will put it in the queen to pull the warden off after he used the warden walk to take out that eagle artillery. We'll start to round south towards the town hall. He... We'll not get access to the town hall from the compartment that he's in right now, but he's got the jump so we can open up the intersection by the expo and get access to it. A wide entry here, though. Jump. Jump does not give access to the town hall. He jump right there. Does it let him through the wall and get him into the town hall compartment or no? He puts in the stone slam to go get, take the town hall. Freezes up the town hall and the arch tower on that approach. It takes a black mine. It gets knocked back by the sweeper. It will take the town hall down. But the super polos continue on to the backside infernos here. They do not have access to the bottom infernos. Neither of them. He's going to have to go through a wall. The king breaks one of the walls. But not the wall that takes him into the inferno. The king is now attacking the wall to try to get to the defensive king. And figure out where he wants to go. He's going to open up that wall. And he takes that town hall down. And the balloons that came out of the stone slammer try to go to the multi inferno but they don't get the pathing into it the dragon is right behind them though and the dragon has full hp it's gonna go into that multi no freaking way he's got it that was an interesting way to do a super bowler attack just <laughs> walk past the down hall and have the siege machine go and take it out wow that's pretty wild well with this triple new scarlet they killed it this war. They absolutely killed it, guys. Are they up by two or three stars? Three stars, right? That exchange did not go the way that God of the Apes would have uh, hoped for, but three stars up here for Noob Scarlet, and it's an almost impossible hill to climb for God of the Apes in war number two. Maybe we call it there? I think we might call it there.